Hi, I'm Steve Perlman, founder and CEO of Artemis. So we're going to show you right now is the technology behind P-Cell. And we're going to show you that by using actual lab radios instead of using, you know, a LTE radio that's a commercial product. The reason we're going to do that is it allows us to go and show you the actual signal that's going through. And it also allows us to turn off certain things built into LTE, like for example, error correction. So if there are already imperfections, you'll see them because we want to show you them, all right? And you can see that each of these PCs back here, and these are tablet PCs, we're running Linux on all of them. And then on the back of them is a lab radio that allows us to go and um, be exactly like an LTE receiver, with the difference being that, of course, as I mentioned, we're able to turn off the features that would normally make it a cleaner signal and also allow to, you to see what's going on, all right? So first of all, what's happening now is we don't have P-cell technology turned on. All the P-waves that we have in the room are transmitting the same signal just as if they were in a conventional cellular system. So what do we see here? <clears throat> Every device has the exact same video playing because that's what happens when everyone's transmitting in the same spectrum the same signal. So you can see we've got six different videos playing. The other thing I want to point out is this little white box here. That's called a constellation. Now a constellation is what is used by radios in order to go and take the waves coming in, the phase shifts and the amplitude changes, then map them into a graph. This is something called a 4QAM or QPSK. It's the simplest form of it. And those little dots are all happily in their little quadrants, in their corners. That means you've got a good signal. If they get all scattered about and you, you see noise, that means you don't have a signal, all right? So as you can see, all of them are very happily receiving their nice QPSK signal in their constellation, and they're all displaying HDTV, all right? So now what we're gonna do is flip on the P-cell technology and watch closely, because now each of them is gonna get their own private P-cell around their antenna, and each of them then is gonna receive a different video. So let's flip on P-cell technology. And there you are. All of them are still getting their 4QAM signal, their QPSK signal in their constellation, the reason they're a little bit noisy, this is lab radio equipment as opposed to commercial equipment. That's why you see low bumpiness. The normal signal you see is actually quite clean. And then the other thing you could see is that if I pick one of these guys up, yeah, the signal keeps on going, all right? You see it, it, it adapts. The little P-cell that's around the here is following the radio as I move it around. Now notice what happens if I put the antennas right next to each other. So I got this guy and this guy connected, okay? No problem. You can have the antennas that close and they're still independent. Let's suppose I get three antennas close to each other. All right, so I got antenna back here, antenna back there. Three devices that close together. The P-cell technology is so specific into, as to where it actually delivers the P-cell that you can have devices that close without them interfering. All right, so now I'm going to show you something that's actually really magical, and that is a chance to actually go and see a P-cell in space, but you're going to have to work with me on it, all right? So let me show you how we can demonstrate it. Now, obviously, the radio waves are invisible, all right? So the best I can do to show you where a P-cell is is kind of to go map out where it is and where it isn't. So normally, as I move it around, you see how the constellation stays together and the video plays, no problem? All right, I'm going to turn off that feature of the P-cell system which is what we call the adaptation, right? Which will move around the P-cell as we move around the device. Now I have to hold it very steady, and if I hold it steady, the video will play, but as soon as I move it, even the slightest amount, you'll see it will move out of the seat to P-cell and back in. All right, so let's turn off the adaptation. So everything plays fine. Now watch when I move this guy just a little bit. See, constellation breaks up, video stops, move back, video plays again. Move a little bit to the side, constellation breaks up, video stops, and move it back in, there's the video again. Move it down, move it back up, there's the video again. Move it up, there's the video again. Move it towards you, and it breaks up. Move it back down, move it away from you, video breaks up, moves it back down. So there you have it. So literally, what I just mapped out, going forward, backwards, up, down, left, and right, is the shape of the P-cell. It's about a centimeter. Okay, so let's turn on adaptation again. Now watch as I move it around. It follows, all right? So that's the magic of what we've created here. We've created individual cells which follow you. 